Good afternoon. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I mean, it's been a fairly uneventful day in many ways. Last night I was on Naoshima Island, which now seems, gosh, so, so far away. And Swifty was leaning up against the sliding doors on the outside of my lovely little Japanese cottage, uh, which had been set up for me by Inside Japan. And uh, there was this, the sun was setting over the sea and it was beautiful and Swifty was all happy and bubbly. And then I closed the slatted paper blinds. Uh, and then I saw this beautiful silhouette of, of Swifty <laughs> on the other side. So then I thought, gosh, this is like about as arty as I can get. Uh, but there was something wrong. Creating this wasn't quite as easy as you might think. Anything for that. And then I woke up this morning really, really early, about five o'clock, for some reason, mainly probably because I went to bed at half past eight. <laughs> I'm such an old man. And then uh, I started just doing some planning. I, I fly out uh, in a week and a day, a week tomorrow, just in case you didn't know what a week and a day meant. So time is short. I then also realized that uh, tomorrow and the next day looking like some severe rain. So then I was adding up the miles and thinking, oh man, it's gonna be miserable and maybe I'm not gonna make it. Just thought, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go for it. I just got out of bed and got my gear together and and just whizzed across the island, said goodbye to all of the statues and the art. Rain is coming over the next couple of days. What do they say about red sky in the morning? Scooter as a warning. I'm sad to be leaving the awesomeness that is Naoshima, but <laughs> needs must. And just had this lovely hour long ferry ride between seven and eight and made it to a town called Takamatsu. And then I had the daunting task of uh, going around the coast into a headwind uh, to a town called Tokushima. And I wasn't sure whether I was gonna make it, but I wanted to get as much ground under our wheels as possible. Uh, but here we are at four o'clock and I'm about to get on what I think will be, never say never, but what I think will be the last ferry of the trip. Uh, it's called the Katsuragi pronunciation and this is one of the famous Namkai ferries and it's taken me across to Honshu to uh, Wakayama and from there I'm gonna go inland to a town called Nara I think where they have some famous bowing deer I want to bow at a deer and I want the deer to bow back at me that's my weekly challenge and then uh, and then I think I'm gonna probably be able to get as far as Nagoya and from there I'll have to get time is going to be really short so I'm going to get a Shinkansen, a fast train, um, back probably most of the way to Tokyo. If there's enough time then I just noticed these two. <laughs> there's little cartoons everywhere. Uh, if there's enough time then I'll, I'll get off the Shinkansen early and, and scoot the final miles into Tokyo. Man I'm really tired, I'm weary and I'm uh, I've got one and a half eyes on the thousand miles and the end of this trip now. I'm really enjoying and taking everything in, although today was super uninspiring. It was pavement plodding and into the headwind and there really wasn't a huge amount going on. <laughs> and it wasn't that pretty and it's just been a dull, cloudy day. That's clever. But my thoughts are buoyed by getting home, spending Christmas with my loved ones, seeing M and just everything cool that's going on uh, outside of these adventures. Life is really so rich at the moment and, uh, and I'm a really lucky boy. Although I guess to some extent you make your own luck. So, you do, you make your own luck. Weirdest advert ever. So I'm about to go and get on this ferry with the Swift Riser. Gosh, we've had such a good time together. It's still a week to go. Uh, I'm not, I'm not I'm looking forward to anything. I'm quite content with this one right here, right now. What do you think, Swift? No? 